Hello and welcome back to the Frosty P. My name is Liz. Today I will be showing you my May hashtag creepy13 junk journal spread. It's an open collaboration hosted by Tony at Tony's Witchy Art and Crafts 3472 with hashtag creepy13 or hashtag spooky13. I'll add, I will add all this information in the description box below in case you want to check out all, all the things that everybody's doing, this, uh, participating. Today, I will be doing my May junk journal spread uh, because I'm a little behind, but that's okay. Mine is on Abraham Lincoln and JFK, urban le legend and coincidences. There are many claimed coincidences with assassinations, assassinations of U.S. Presidents Abraham Lincoln and John F. Kennedy, and these have become an American folklore, but a lot of those that I have been reading on the internet, Pinterest, and things like that, they're just basically made up. They're, they're not all true. A lot of them are true. Only the facts will present it here. Okay. Lincoln was elected to Congress... In 1846, Kennedy was elected to Congress in 1946. Lincoln was elected president in 1860. Kennedy was elected president in 1960. Got a little flip out here. I got this paper from Timu. Both were concerned with civil rights. Both have seven letters in their last names. Both married in their 30s to women who were in their 20s. Both wives lost a child while living in the White House. Both presidents were shot in the head on a Friday. Both assassins' full name is composed of 15 letters. But it gets weirder. Both were succeeded by Southerners named Johnson. Andrew Johnson was from Tennessee. Lyndon Johnson was from Texas. Both succeeded successors were Democrats and had six-letter last names. And weirder, Andrew Johnson, who succeeded Lincoln, was born in 1808. Lyndon Johnson, who succeeded Kennedy, was born in 1908. Now we're on the crazy train. Both had security agents named William, who died within 48 hours of attaining the age of 75 years, five months. Lincoln was shot in a theater named Ford. Kennedy was shot in a Lincoln car named by Ford, made by Ford. Both assassins committed his crime while in the place where he was employed. Both assassins were killed before they could be put on trial. So I was always fascinated with all these um, facts. The one that I started out on seeing was on Pinterest, and I took out a lot of the information because it just wasn't true. This is a flip-up, and you can see Abraham Lincoln's hearse. hearse. It's very elaborate. looks like a parade float. And this was Kennedy's riderless horse. Well, that's all I have for today. So thank you for watching. And come back again to see what I have for June. I can't believe it's almost June already. Halfway through May. Um, I just wanted to show a quick thing about my journal here. I, I made this little mini journal out of a bag. And I'm, I still have to fill it up. This was for January, Skull and Bones. If you didn't see that, you can uh, go to my last video. And it was about mostly about the Bone Church. 
in the Czech Republic. Very creepy. And then April, I have an idea for what I'm going to do for February and March. This was my April. This was the first one I did when I first found out about this challenge. There's a video of this too, so you can check that out. And then my May. And then my June will be next. So come back again. Thank you for watching.